Hey guys, it's me, Man of Steel, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you are new. So if you're wondering, why do you look like this? Well, today I'm going to be doing my first skit video. I'm going to be doing types of YouTube apology videos. Now, I thought this would be perfect because quarantine has exposed a lot of celebrities and YouTubers, and I was like, dang, like some people are not at all who we thought they were, so this would be most appropriate. Now, this is all for kind of jokes and fun. Not, I'm not making any of the celebrities or YouTubers you know, I'm not justifying them at all, and I do think apologies are very necessary, but I just think that some apology videos are literally jokes, and um, I'm gonna be, you know, magnifying, magnifying the apologies. So, I'm really excited, this is my first skit video, you're gonna see why I kinda look like this in a second, but let's, let's get on with the video! With this type of apology video, it's not the worst, but sometimes crying can be overdramatic, unnecessary, and kind of annoying, and it could kind of make the person who's apologizing, it could seem like a cry for, you know, to pity them. So, that's why this one's kind of here. It's not the worst, but, you know, it's annoying. I just, um, sorry. I just really want to ap apologize because what I've said, I, I really, I just don't know what I was thinking back then. I, I just don't even know what I was thinking back then. Um, and I just, I really should have thought about what, what my, um, actions that they have consequences and that people, people do get offended by those things and I really should work on uh, what I say. So I'm, I'm sorry guys, I, I really mean it, I apologize. So I'm not saying they're reading from like an actual physical script, but it seems like their apology isn't sincere. It feels really, you know, scripted and it feels like just a publicity stunt to make themselves look better and it's not really from the heart. So this is what this apology kind of means. Um, I, I wanted to say that I, I apologize for uh, some of the things I have done to offend people, um, I, I really did it. That wasn't my intent. I, I didn't really mean to say and do those things. I just don't know what I was, what I was thinking and I, um, I won't do it again. So, yeah, I, I, I won't do it again, and thank you guys for sticking with me. This is probably one of the worst apology videos someone could make. It's when they say, sorry, you guys got offended, and basically don't take account of what they said, and kind of pin it on you guys for being quote-unquote snowflakes or whatever. You don't see it much, but when it happens, it's totally obvious. So, I'm pretty sure you guys heard the allegations on Twitter of what I've done in the past and what I've said. And I just want to um, apologize for offending you guys. And I'm sorry that you guys got offended of what I said. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry if you thought that um, what I said was offensive. Because I really didn't mean it that way at all. So I'm sorry you guys took it that way. Um, I know in the future that... I know I'll know in the future that you guys um, can't take stuff like that and it's really not acceptable so I'm sorry that you guys got offended so I kind of lied a little bit when I said the crying one wasn't the worst one this one's actually a little bit better than the crying one because it's not super dramatic and as a youtuber we do stutter sometimes I know I stutter and you make mistakes and so to make your message more clear you do cut and edit the video so your message is clear to your audience but during an apology video sometimes making too many cuts is not the most appropriate hi guys so i just wanted to jump on here to um to to tell you guys that i'm sorry for um i'm sorry for what i said and the what i said about the situation and um that i i really i just really shouldn't have did what i did and i understand why 
um, people are mad at me and I'm sorry for all the people that I've offended. So I, I really hope you guys can forgive me for that. So thank you. Okay, so these next two apologies I'm going to show you kind of go hand in hand with each other. Now, this is probably one of the most, most popular apologies. The one that says, I was young back then or, you know, that wasn't, I'm changed. These ones are what you're going to see in 2020, especially Shane Dawson, <coughs> Jeffree Star. <clears throat> um, anyway, yeah, these are the apologies. Um, what I said was just really... It's not justifiable at all. I was really young back then. Like, I'm 30 now. Back when I was 22, I was just a dumb child who barely, barely knew anything. You know, I was just graduating college. And so now that I look back, I was really young back then. And I just should have known better because honestly, I, uh, sorry guys, I've really matured and now I'm older, much older. And now I know wrong from right, so... Um, yeah, I was, I was young back then and I'm, I'm really not who I used to be. Like, I'm not the old Jordan. I, I just want to push the old Jordan away because that's not a, a representation as, of who I am now. I'm not at all like, uh, how I used to be. Um, so, yeah, I've truly changed and I want to apologize for what I've done. So these next two apologies you're gonna hear are the most popular in 2020, especially in the makeup and beauty guru community. They love using these. And a huge disclaimer, anxiety and depression is not a joke at all and I'm not making fun of it because it's a serious thing and if you do have depression or anxiety or any symptoms of it, you should really get help. But I've asked some of my friends, my closest friends and even random strangers, because I remember I left a comment saying anxiety is not a personality trait and they were agreeing with me and they've said and told me that even though they have anxiety and depression, it does not make them say slash do hateful things towards anyone. So the people that use this apology are just, you know, making an excuse and it's really not okay. I'm 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 I'm, re I'm not justifying uh, anything I said or done in the past. It it's just I've been my anxiety has just been out of the roof. I've been really depressed lately, and my I guess I guess my anxiety has really made me say some horrible things, which shouldn't be an excuse. But it's really been my anxiety. Um, it's made me do some inappropriate things back in the past that I'm really ashamed of, and I've just been really depressed lately. Um. And I really shouldn't have offended people, but my anxiety was just, it really got the best of me. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is taking a little, a little break uh, from YouTube because my anxiety and stuff. So thank you guys so much. So as you heard a little bit in the end of the last apology, usually um, after a big scandal, YouTubers and even celebrities will take a break from the limelight and, you know, get their image back together, which I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. It really depends on what they've done or what they're apologizing for. So this is kind of what this next apology is. And they go hand in hand with each other. So yes, once again, guys, I'm going to be taking a little break from YouTube and social media just because everything's getting really toxic. And I, once again, I do apologize for what I said. I shouldn't have said those horrible things. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be taking a break and focusing on my mental health. So it's been nice. I'll probably be back in a few months. I just really need some time to myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching the video i just filmed the crying scene right now so that's why my face is wet <laughs> that's why my face is wet <laughs> um i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video um it's tuesday right now so i'm not this video is going up sunday i think sunday is either the fourth of july or the day after so i hope you celebrate safe i don't know how i'm really feeling about the fourth of july this year just because what's going on but i hope you guys had a safe holiday i hope you guys are all doing well and thank you so much for watching this video i'm actually really excited for this video to come out tell me leave a comment if i should do more of these types of videos like types of people types of this types of that because i really enjoy them and um i just filmed and it literally only took me like 10 minutes because i was like really i really got into it but <laughs> Anyways, guys, leave a comment below if you want more. Like if you, you know, like this video. Subscribe if you're not. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.